Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Natchez National Cemetery was established in 1866, one of 21 bivouacs of the dead to assure Union soldiers would lie in permanent dignity and tranquility. As all national cemeteries and American Battle Monument cemeteries, it was established to bury Union, United States soldiers, sailors, Marines, without regard to color, religion, sex, or other status. Only an honorable discharge is required to lie in this national shrine, and all ranks lie next to each other, which emphasizes the camaraderie of the soldier on the battlefield. Natchez was not an area of military battles, but instead where many soldiers came to hospital to have the diseases treated that killed more than bullets. Soldiers and sailors arrived in Natchez by steamboat and were buried after succumbing to their disease or injury in the 11.7 acres of land appropriated and later purchased from five local citizens. The gardens, located next door to the National Cemetery, served as a hospital for Union troops, as well as the Naval Hospital located nearby. Original interments were also brought to the National Cemetery under the U.S. Quartermaster Corps of the Army program, which paid contractors to bring soldiers' bodies from a 50-mile radius, including many sites in the local Mississippi, Louisiana area. In the fall of 1866, bodies of soldiers buried on the western shore of the levees at and above Vidalia were reinterred, as well as those from grave sites at Port Gibson, Prio's racetrack, and areas in Concordia Parish. By March 4, 1871, the Inspector General of the U.S. Army indicated that a total of 3,086 interments had been made. Of these, only 253 were known and marked with a soldier or sailor's name. Today, there are a total of 8,309 burials in this site of serene beauty beside the magnificent Mississippi River. Two Medal of Honor recipients lie in honored glory in Natchez, one in the National Cemetery and one in the Natchez City Cemetery, along with local men killed at Pearl Harbor and veterans from every era since 1862. This is Sharon Goodrich, a retired director of the National Cemetery at Natchez, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.